Deirdre Bosa to help us straighten it all out. So the pros and the cons of adding crypto to your 401k, Deirdre. We'll definitely think very hard about it and do your research because cryptocurrency prices are very volatile. So yes, they can generate big gains, but you're also exposing yourself to the possibility of very big losses. Bitcoin is down 70% over the past year, but it has also tripled since the beginning of 2020. Swings like that make crypto very risky, and that is why the Labor Department urges employers to exercise, quote, extreme care before offering it as a 401k option. Experts tell CBC.com that if you can tolerate the risk crypto should be limited to 5% or less of your retirement savings. And they do think it's a better option for people in their 20s than for workers nearing retirement. Meanwhile, sentencing for Theranos founder Elizabeth Holmes is set for 10 days from now after a federal judge rejected her motion for a new trial. Holmes was convicted of fraudulently claiming her company had found a way to do complicated medical tests using only a very small amount of blood, which is now famous to many, thanks to the series, guys. Back no, to you. All right. We remember it. CNBC's Deirdre Bosa, thank you so much. Mm -hmm.